Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And no, this is not a review. This is my Ollie's toy haul for November 15th. It's a couple days after November 15th, but it's still November 15th toy haul. I got all this stuff for Ollie's for cheap. We got this Storm Shadow from the... G.I. Joe classifies Storm Shadow Snake Eyes movie figure. I got it for like five bucks. The worthwhile figures I grabbed. Brand new. Next on the list we got is Shockwave. All this was 50 bucks, and that's what I paid for these. We got Shockwave from Cyber Battalion, and he's a spaceship. So glad to have another Shockwave to collection. I do a pretty okay imitation of Shockwave. Fear of Megatron. Cybertron will remain as you leave it. So that's my best Megatron impression. Next we got Transformers Authentics Bravo Megatron. I got this for five bucks. From Dollar General. Decepticons. Attack. That's my Megatron impression. And this does not transform. It's an action figure. Why not? Say why not. Next on the list. We have a Transformers Legacy. Velocitron Override. And I did not pick this up when it first came out. But I got this for 10 bucks, and this figure is usually 20 bucks. But I'm so glad to have this. This is just so cool. I originally had an original 2006 Velocitron Override. I wound up donating it, donating it back to the thrift store because I didn't have the room for it. Or I didn't have the weapon for it, and I wound up getting rid of it. But I have a figure of her again, even though it's a brand new version. So glad to add this to collection. This is just so cool. And that'll be done on one week of Transformers Week next month. Speaking of Transformers, we got the Beast Wars re-release of Megatron. And yes. The 1980s Megatron from Beast Wars. And yeah, this is my first Megatron ever. And this will be reviewed here on the channel. They didn't have the Optimus Primal I was looking for or the Cheetor. I do have the Rat Trap, but I don't have Cheetor or Tigatron or Optimus Primal or Scorponok. Those are the ones I'm going to have to go back and look for. But other than that, I am just so glad to have this. And I do do a pretty good impression of Megatron from Beast Wars. Yes. Find out what's keeping Waspinator. Yes. So definitely one figure I look forward to reviewing in general. Since Beast Wars came after G1. After the 1980s something. Next on the list, we got a Dungeons and Dragons Diana. And the way she looks with her hair and her body gives me off like an anime kind of vibe. So this will count as my anime figure review. I am just so glad to have this figure. And she is just so cute. And she's got her staff so she can knock people down with it. Why not? There are other figures to collect I don't have. Is this one or that one? And these were about 10 bucks. So I'm definitely glad I have that now. And last but not least, we got some freebies here. Tiny figures I found heading back from the library. Why not? You're probably wondering, what am I going to use the extra 50 bucks on? I got an Amazon gift card for my sister Melanie for about 50 so add another 50 to that and we are going to be getting the 2023 
Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem playset. I look forward to showing you that when I pick that up. That's going to be so awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.